But I noticed that definitely some of them have the bumps on the side. You saw that in their gill right there. See that their gill plate it like goes over their gills? You see the little bumps. And the crappy thing is, is that these fish, I think, got ick from the snails. I didn't think that was possible, but I need to go look it up. But I know definitely, like, the littler fish got ick. You can see in their little fins. Yeah, you see that dot in its dorsal fin. So I think I got ick. So I'm going to need to go take out the little fish. And I think it's even affected some of the bigger fish, too. It's definitely affected that guy right there. He's got it in his tail, too. So... I think with the discovery of my f gendering my fish, I think I've also realized that they're probably all pretty sick because of those snails that I brought in. These. The mystery snails, the ones that don't exist. Unless it's there to infect the other ones. There's the other one. You can see the snails all seem to be doing fine. So, and there's the other one. So there are all my apple snails busy at work, but I think they brought the uh, infection to the fish so that's just dandy so here is my treatment tank for the ick breakout I am uh, just trying my best to try and cure off all the parasites from the fish as you can see I've drained out over half the water the apple snails are in that tank down there because I don't think that they mix well with the ick solution so here you go I've basically cleaned out the whole tank I uh, have the filters going of course because that's gonna help relieve some of the stress I put a little extra salt in the tank to go help them out um, I don't know I don't see really much of any change inside of them but you can tell the, this little one still has the ick on its fin dorsal fin still so I'm going to keep treating them. I just got some Walmart generic brand Ick whatever whatever. It was only like a couple of bucks. But you can tell that the fish are, you know, not too stressed out from what I can see. The dorsal fins are pretty high. They keep swimming around. So I'll just try and keep uh, an eye on them over the next couple of days. Make sure that everyone's kind of healthy. Alright, day two of Ick Central. The water is now clear, and the fish all seem to be doing well, um, and they all seem to be hungry because they're all coming to the front. Let me see. That little white one's going to be my test, because he had a pretty gross looking white lump on his fin back there before. Well, he's still got a little one, but it's not as bad as it was. Yeah. See the dorsal fin? It looks like it's cleared up a bit. Hey, buddy. Oh yeah, you still got a little bit of a spot there. Let's see. So all those little lumps on the gill plates that I thought gendered the fish were actually just the ick boring out of their skin. So, I was a little off on that one. Um, you can still tell that they're, they're all in fairly good condition. They don't look like they're doing too, too badly. I'm trying to see if there's any indication, but everyone's moving around too quick. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? It looks like it started to clear up. They definitely don't look as spotty as they did before. You can tell this uh, Lucky looked like he had a little bit of fin rot on the dorsal fin, but... He's got a lot of pep. Alright, we are now in our fourth or fifth day of treatment for the fish. Everybody's looking okay. Uh, that little tiny white fish kind of lost his big dorsal fin dot. It's still there, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. I'm waiting for that cyst to kind of fall off. But you see him, he's doing okay. And the other one's kind of cleaned up pretty nice. Um, but the thing is, is that the ones that have got me interested are my little snail friends. They are either dying or in their death throes or they're just finished mating. Now if you look at that orange one, you can see like the little pile of sand that it's been kind of building up while it's been sitting upside down. Hello. And the other two, well, I don't really know what they're doing. They're just kind of lying beside each other. I don't even know what they're doing. I don't think they're dead. Because, I don't know, they, they don't look like they're dead, but they're, they're, I don't know what they're doing. 
So that's what the it guard looks like. It's just a little fish, as you can tell. There's blue crap all over it because, of course, it was leaking. So, yeah, and that's basically it. It's like a, you know, dump this in, help save your fish kind of dealy do. So, yeah, there you go. It gives you all the instructions on it, best before date, yada, yada, yada. And this is just the, uh, just the little thing that it looks like. So, yeah, I just got it from Walmart. It's like three bucks, four bucks. And all your fish. Oh, and there you go. And there's one of the snails right there. It's one of the little stowaways that we got. But you can tell now that everything's so moist in there, he's just chilling up at the top now. He doesn't even go in the water. So, yeah. Basically, that's the whole thing. And there, there's the, uh, you can see the java fern starting to grow at the side of it. And at the front, see those little green guys coming out? You can see, like, little, uh, little, uh, what are they called? Uh, the leaves, but also the roots have started to grow out of it. And then that other video where I show you those plants that came to like some kind of uh, invader. That's the other one. And that's the other one. Those See that one in the far back behind the red ruben? Those are ones that I picked out of Georgia Bay. They were just like little pieces. And if you look, one's even attached itself to the uh, not moving, what's it called? Biofilter. So there you go. Those were some very uh, illustrious plants, and uh, they're still sticking around right now. Yeah, and you can see like the little pile, look, it's still making the sand. Sand castle or whatever it's doing. See it? See that like, little sand castle next to it? Yeah, see it? There's a little white spot next to it, but you see that round bit? It's kind of away from the rest of the head. That's like the new growth on the fish's head. Well, here's the fish tank, uh, day four or five. You can see my plague bearers. It looks like the first one's finally gone. So long, plague bearer. But then again, he might be alive, I don't know. So hopefully he's dead and we can get rid of him. The fish have all slowly come back. Again, no one's really super ill. Everyone's doing pretty good. Um, I think the white plague bearer has, oh, look, this one's upside down still. I don't know. It might be dead. It might not. If it is, we can get rid of it. The white one? I don't know. He's moved around, but I don't know. I don't know. Alright, it's official. All the snails are dead. They came, they gave my fish tank disease, and now they're getting pitched outside. See how the foot isn't being sucked in all the way? It's just kind of sitting there. And you know what? I'm not going to do it again, but if you take a whiff of this thing, you know this thing's dead, you can smell it. Ugh, and it's all of its gross water's dripping onto me. So, three dead snails for five bucks, thanks. Thanks local pit store. Oh god, yeah, it stinks. So, listen, if you buy snails and you're not sure they're dead, just kinda, if that foot thing doesn't close all the way and you pull on it a little bit and it smells as bad as these things smell, you know they're dead. Oh god, the smell. And, uh, yep, no more snails. No more gross snails. Except for this one, I like this one. The apple snails, okay, I can do without, but this little guy was a stowaway on one of the plants that I got, and he's been just a great little addition to the tank. So I don't want to be 100% anti-snail, but definitely uh, think twice about getting them. Make sure they look healthy, which I have no idea how to do, nor will I attempt to do, nor will I care to do. <laughs> so just try and make sure your snails look healthy, I guess, look it up on the internet. And uh, yeah, I hope you have fun. Where are you staying?